Hey guys, so many of you don't know this, but I celebrated my 25th birthday last weekend. Um, I would have had this video up sooner, but I haven't been well. And I actually ended up going to the hospital on the morning of my 25th birthday. So that was great fun. I went to Paris with my boyfriend Richard um, for literally a day. And when I came back um, to London, um, I had really bad chest pains and I couldn't breathe properly and I felt really sick. I had to go to the hospital uh, to get checked over to see if everything was okay. Still not 100% but I wanted to film this video. Um, yeah, we'll see how I go. <laughs> so like I said, we went to Paris for the day which was last Saturday um, and our train was at um, 10 to 7 in the morning and we had to be an hour before so we actually got to the train station at uh, 10 to 6 in the morning. Uh, we stayed in a hotel next to King's Cross in London so we could get there um, quickly. Um, so I actually woke up at like half four in the morning so I can get ready and make sure I've packed everything. Um, so it's a very early start for us and we I think the train journey, because we got the Eurostar, it took about two hours, two and a half hours maybe, to get to Paris from London. Um, yeah, and we got there, we um, saw the Eiffel Tower, of course, we saw the Notre Dame, and the, I can never say this, the Arc de Triomphe, is that what it's called? Not good names, really not good names. So yeah, we explored Paris and see what's around. Uh, we tried to eat at the Hard Rock Cafe, but it was really busy because we try and eat at the Hard Rock Cafe and go to them wherever we go. Um, and I always collect like, a magnet for my mum, um, so we went there, but we ended up eating at McDonald's instead, and that was so busy, and I couldn't wait to leave. So I'd never been to Paris before. I've been to France before, but that was like, I mean, I don't even know where that was. I was uh, young. I was a child and I don't remember it, we went by ferry, it took forever to get there, um, so I've, yeah, I haven't been to France before for a day but I've never been to Paris, um, so yeah, we got there um, and first thing on my list was to go to a Sephora because it's my birthday weekend and I wanted to go to Paris just so I could go to Sephora for my birthday, um, so I had a big shopping trip at Sephora and again yes I did spend loads of money so I was literally just going to show you what I got for my birthday Um I asked everyone for euros for my birthday and I spent the euros on Sephora I also got a few other bits as well for my birthday which I will show you Um so yeah yeah I'll show you so I actually went to a couple of Sephora's because the first one I went to they did not have a lot of stuff in a lot of things were out of stock um so i ended up going to another sephora after um but yeah i'll show you all anyway so first thing i got was fenty beauty primer um i actually got the true matte primer because i did want to get the hydrating primer but they didn't have any in stock so i just got the true matte primer um, which is the one I use at the moment and um, it's great, it's the best primer I've used um, so I got that one as well, it's just another restock of the things I've already got which most of them are just restocking my makeup because I'm running low so yeah um, and then I also got again another restock of Fenty Beauty powder um, I get it in the shade Butter um, so it's literally just um, I don't actually know how much they were so the powder was 31 euros and the primer oh no the primer I actually got with my leftover I don't even know where I put the primer oh. I actually got with um english money for my birthday so i actually bought this yesterday when i went shopping not with sephora so that one i bought with english money so i think this is 24 pounds so 24 pounds and this was 31 euros 
Um, so, the next thing I bought was also from Fenty Beauty was this um, little stunner lip paint in the shade Underdog. And she only is selling it in the little version, not the full size version. So, this is the full size version, and that's the little one. Um, and I really like this colour and a lot of people I've seen that are getting it so I wanted it um, and I love these lipsticks because they do stay on for a very long time um, so cute, so mini um, these colours suit me a lot so I did get this and it was £15, pound, 15 euros for this um, Sunna lip paint um, so that's also from Fenty Beauty um, I think that's everything from Fenty Beauty the next is from Kat Von D and it's literally just a restock of foundation so I got two of them um, I used the shade Light 46 Cool um, I use this foundation a lot because it's full coverage for me I don't really use a lot of other foundations because I do full coverage for my face this is the best foundation ever um, and it was 35 euros each so 70 euros for both of them um, I know it's a lot of money but it's the best foundation for me um, so yeah that's from Kat Von D the next one is um, from Huda Beauty is a lipstick in the shade Graduation Day I did want to get two other lipsticks but um, when I see them in person they're not um, I don't, I'm not quite sure on the shades so I didn't get them so I got graduation day instead um, yeah and I love that it's magnetic box I love it I didn't know they're magnetic um, so the lipstick was 22 euros um, and I also got her palette so I was deciding whether to get this for Christmas or um, yeah, I was going to ask her it for Christmas, but because Sephora didn't have a lot of things in that I wanted, I decided to spend my euros on it instead. Um, so yeah. It's the new nude palette from Huda Beauty. I always say her name well. Um, so yeah, lovely colours. And this palette is €65. Euros. I know it's a lot of money, but I love the colours in it. And I saw it when I was in Rome and I wanted to get it then, but I didn't have enough euros, so I waited. Um, and as you can see, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I probably don't need any more, but um, I love eyeshadow. Um, um, I also got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is just another refill as I'm running out of it. It is the best mascara I have ever used. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't use another mascara, probably probably only that one. And that was um, 26 euros. And I also wanted to try their eyeliner, so the Better Than Sex eyeliner, um, to see what it's like. And that was 23 euros. So I haven't tried it yet, um, but I will be trying it because I wear eyeliner every day. Um, at the moment I use uh, Kat Von D's Dagger Eyeliner, which is absolutely great, there's nothing wrong with it, but um, I heard that this is really good, and if the mascara is the best one I've used, then the eyeliner might be good. So I'm going to try that one also. Right, so the last thing I got from Sephora was the um, Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette, which was 52 euros. And this is the last in the collection that I needed to get because I've got literally like all of them. So this is the last one in the collection that I needed to get. Um, so I finally got it. I wanted to get it as soon as it came out but I knew that I wanted to get it with my Euros for my birthday. So finally it can join the family um, until they bring another one out which I'm pretty sure they will do soon. Because um, as soon as I got the the reloaded one, and I was like, yes, I've got the newest one. 
and they brought the honey palette so um i'm always i feel like i'm behind um but yeah i love these palettes um i think it's the only collection that i've got all of them um and i will keep getting all of them um so yeah i again i've not tried this um but i will play around with it i love playing around with makeup and eyeshadow looks so i will definitely be doing that um and then i also got this free chloe perfume um because if you spend over so much amount of money you get a freebie and i got this perfume which i've got before and it smells very nice so yeah i'm happy with my freebie i think the first of all i went to because i spent like 200 and something euros i think the lady was telling me to wait um because she went to go and get something but i had no idea what she was saying i know no french at all um so i just kind of left um so if she was gonna get me free b i didn't get it um so yeah i i don't know any french at all so i not got a clue what she was saying to me at all um but yeah that was all the makeup i got from sephora um and if you didn't know then wherever i go i get a mickey or, or a mini depends what one looks nicer from wherever i go so when i went to italy i got a mickey when i went to new york i got a statue of liberty mini mouse um, and this was actually 35 euros which is quite expensive um and i'm still yet to get the london one i've been to the london disney store loads of times but i've never ever got it um so yeah i collect these wherever i go um so yeah you can join his friends in the cupboard because that's where they are they're not even on show they're just in the cupboard um but yeah you can join your friends so also for my birthday i got this makeup set which is the millie mcintosh um, makeup set um and inside of it got loads of different things inside of it um so there's a liquid lipstick there's a mascara a eyeliner eyeshadow primer bronzer nail varnish and a brush um so yeah i would definitely be using all of that that is all the things i use and all the colors that i love so um yeah that was a nice birthday present as well um i also got a 20 pound gift voucher for h&m from people at work and with that voucher i bought some because i love shoes and boots so um i got some boots for that um so yeah and then with the rest of my money i got i went to pink and i bought some socks that were eight pounds um and i also got this lovely jacket this was 70 pounds but it's so warm and fluffy i love fluffy jackets um so yeah and it's one that you can wear out as well not just lounge about um in the house which i do have fluffy jackets where i do just lounge about um but this one i can actually wear out um so yeah i bought that with my birthday money so my birthday money is now all spent um and i think that's everything i got for my birthday i don't think there's anything else um but yeah that was all my sephora stuff that i got from sephora um, I've been waiting for that trip for such a long time. Like I literally had a whole list of things to buy, like for months waiting to get it, and I finally got it all, and I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, next is Christmas, uh, which I already know what I want, and most of it is makeup stuff. So, I mean, are you surprised? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna now put all that stuff on my makeup shelf, which I absolutely love moving around my makeup and put it it all in the right place i don't know if anyone else likes that or i'm just a weirdo um but yeah i will be doing that um and i'm also going to do a video of my tour of my makeup shelf my beauty stuff um i've been meaning to do that for a long time but i wanted to do the sephora trip first before i filmed that but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um i love filming hauls like makeup hauls sephora hauls um so i hope you like watching them um, if you did, then give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.